Hey, sons and daughters of God, July 30th, God is with his children. Isaiah 43, 5 and 6 says, Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. We must do our work with cheerfulness and hopefulness. We are in no case to become discouraged. Let us keep our eyes off the disagreeable parts of our experience and let our words be full of good cheer. We can surround ourselves with a sunny atmosphere or with an atmosphere charged with gloom. Let us educate ourselves to talk courage. Let us learn lessons from the example of Christ, not even his terrible humiliation at the hands of the Jews and the Roman soldiers. His mock trial and the cruel treatment that he received caused him to become discouraged. Hold the beginning of your confidence firm unto the end. The light of God's truth is not to be dimmed. It is to shine amidst the darkness of error that enshrouds our world. The word of God is to be open to those in the high places of the earth, as well as to those in the more lowly. The church of Christ is God's agency for the proclamation of truth. She is empowered by him to do a special work. And if she is loyal to God, <clears throat> obedient to his commandments, there will dwell within her the excellence of divine power. If she will honor the Lord God of Israel, there is no power that can stand against her. If she will be true to her allegiance, the forces of the enemy will be no more able to overpower her than is the chaff to resist the whirlwind. There is before the church the dawn of a bright, glorious day. If she will put on the robe of Christ's righteousness, withdrawing from all allegiance to the world, from Christ is flowing the living stream of salvation. When in faith we take hold of his strength, he will change, wonderfully change, the most hopeless, discouraging outlook. He will do this for the glory of his name. Have a great day today. You're a son and daughter of God.